Hey guys, today's video is scientific notation, adding and subtracting, okay? So remember when we're watching a video, okay? Watching a video involves listening, not just hearing it. Actively participate, take notes, make a vocab list, do something like that. Stop or pause the video. If you need more time, stop the video, pause the video, take a second to write something down, and then watch it multiple times. The more you hear it, the more you hear it, the more you hear it, the better you'll be at it, okay? So adding and subtracting is all about being the same. When we add numbers, we add the same, right? They're both in the units digit, both in the tens digit. When we add variables, okay, they're going to have their like terms because they both have x. They both have x to the first power. And when we sub uh, subtract decimals, we're going to add the things that are in the same column, the ones, the tenths, the hundredths. When we add fractions, they have to have the same denominator. Again, when we add together um, like terms, they have to have the same variable with the same exponent. Okay, so it's that idea of always being the same. Well, for scientific notation, the exponents need to be the same. So for example, 1.3 times 10 to the 6 plus 5.6 times 10 to the 6, they both are 10 to the 6th power. So I can add those together. I'm going to do 1.3 plus 5.6, and I'm going to get 6.9. Now, 6.9 has the same ending, just like a variable would have, times 10 to the 6th power. When I add fractions, the denominator stays the same. When I add scientific notations, the exponents stay the same. Let's look at another one. Example two, so 4.61 times 10 to the negative fourth plus 3.11 times 10 to the negative fifth. Well, they're not the same, but I need to choose one exponent that I'm going to use for both of these, okay? So I'm actually going to go ahead and make both of them times 10 to the fourth, okay? Now 10 to the fifth. 10 to the fifth is lower than this. So the exponent went up. The number, that number less than 10 but greater than 1, has to go down by a factor of 10. So instead of 3.11, it's now 0.311. Okay? Well, 4.61 plus 0.311, that's 1. 2, 9, and 0. 0.4. So 4.921 times 10, well, what's their exponent? Times 10 to the negative fourth. So that's going to stay to the negative fourth. Okay? They had the same exponent. Because they had the same exponent, I can add them together. How about one with subtraction? 8.35 times 10 to the seventh minus 5.6 times 10 to the fifth. So I'm going to take that one that is times 10 to the fifth, and I'm going to make it a times 10 to the seventh. So it went up two places from 5, 6 to 7. So my decimal has to go down two factors by a factor of 100. So 1, 2, it's 0 0.056 times 10 to the seventh. And this one already is times 10 to the 7. And now, because they are the same, I can subtract them. 8.35 minus 0 0.056. Got to line up those decimal places. Here's a 0, and I'm subtracting. That's a 4. That's a 9. That's now a 2, and it's 0.8. 8.294 times 10. What was the exponent I made it to? I made it to a 7, so I'm going to make it a 7. Okay. So here's your entrance ticket, your entrance ticket for next class. Have these ready when you get to class. Here's two problems. Okay. Go ahead and pause the video, and you can write those down and solve them. And again, don't forget, when you watch a video, listen. Actively participate. Take notes. Stop or pause it if you need to. 
and certainly watch it again if you want to hear these examples. Okay? Thanks for watching. Have a great day.